From our two decades of improving golf swings, we found that many players don't enjoy the kind of ball flight their swing could produce because they've not been shown how to set up their clubs at address. Using the club as it has been designed will improve the shots it produces. Let's talk about putters. In order to improve the precision of the roll it produces, designers have found that the putter face should have several degrees of loft. By holding a straight edge on the face of the putter, you can see the loft for yourself. In general, the loft is measured relative to the shaft. To position your putter face so it presents the optimal loft, the shaft should be perpendicular at impact. If the shaft is leaning forward, the stroke is driving the ball down into the green, resulting in inconsistent distance and direction. In addition to loft, the putter also has lie, the way it should rest on the ground. Typically, a putter will have an alignment mark. This mark serves two purposes. It indicates the point of the putter face that should be aligned with the ball. It also indicates the point beneath which the putter should be sold. Let's talk about irons. The loft of irons is more apparent than on the putter. Here too, the loft is measured by the angle formed between the club face and the shaft. For the club to produce the intended trajectory, the shaft should be vertical at address and at impact. If the shaft is leaning forward at impact, it can result of any or all of the following. First, it will take the bounce out of play. The bounce is a hump on the bottom of the club. It's designed to keep the leading edge of the club from digging into the turf and instead positioning the club head to surf along the turf. Second, the club can become delofted, lowering the trajectory of the ball flight resulting in the ball coming in hotter as it lands on the green. Shots like this tend not to stay on the green, but can roll past the pin or even off the green. Third, having the shaft forward can misalign the club face, having it face right of target and sending the ball to the right. The third feature of setting up the club is the face angle. Physics dictate that your golf ball will leave the club face in the direction the club is facing at impact. So it's critical that the player sole the club so the club face is facing the target. The club face is then perpendicular to the target line.
There are three steps to accomplish this. First, the player raises the club in front of them to parallel and observes the grooves on the club face. The groove should be vertical, pointing straight up. For 7 out of 10 players, when they do this, their grooves are leaning to the left, resulting in the club face being de-lofted and resulting in the leading edge of the club head instead of on the bounce. Turn the club in your hands until the grooves are vertical. When the club is sold behind the ball, it should be resting on the bounce. The shaft vertical and the groove should be aligned between your feet. Finally, the club face should swivel on the bounce to align the club face with the target. And finally, let's talk about woods. Of course, woods have loft also. Like the irons, we can consider the loft of the woods and hybrids and rescues to be the angle formed by the shaft and the club face. For the club to produce the intended trajectory, the shaft should be vertical at address and impact. Like the irons, the woods have bounce, a hump on the bottom of the club that keep the leading edge of the club from digging into the turf and instead positioning the club head to surf along the turf. When the shaft is vertical, the club is resting on the bounce. And like the irons, the woods have face angle. Like the irons at address, the player must sole the club with its club face facing the target. Unlike the irons, the woods are not designed with a flat club face. The face has bulge, which makes it curved. To align the club face with the target, the player keeps their eye on the center of the club face and aligns that portion with the target. The design of your clubs is an evolution of over a hundred years of experimentation and a revolution in design over the past 30 years. I often tell our students that golf clubs are the most expensive items you can buy that come with no operator's manual. You're free to use them in any manner that you choose. But consider taking full advantage of the design of these tools by using the clubs as they were designed to be used.